We have already visualized our workflow in a process map. Before we move on to the execution stage, let's get to know the main building blocks in Monday.com. These are what you will use to build your workflows in the Monday.com platform, so it's important you're familiar with them. Here are the main building blocks we'll discuss in this video. Boards, items, sub-items, groups, and columns. We'll also talk about some more advanced features that help bring your workflows to life. Automations, board views, integrations, dashboards, and workspaces. Let's start with boards. This is going to be where you manage your workflows. A workflow might be built on one single board or might span across multiple boards. Looking at our process map, we probably want one board for storing the list of applicants and another board for managing the qualification process. Each row in our board is called an item. Each item is what is being managed, like a project, a task, or a client. In both my applicant repository and the qualification process, each of the items will represent an applicant. Items are organized or categorized into groups. You can group your items according to whatever categorization you want, from timeframes like weeks or months, clients, phases in a project, or anything else. We'll talk more about best practices for structuring a board in the popular Board Structures video. Columns are where you add the data points you are tracking on each item. There are many column types to choose from to represent all sorts of data. Let's review the most basic columns. The People column is where you will be able to assign people from your team to an item. That's going to really boost accountability and ownership. It will be a great way to see which doctor will give the physical and who will be responsible for the wellness checks. Cool! The Status column is where you can visually represent the status of each item. You can edit the labels to show whatever statuses you want. It can also be used to show other types of data, like priority, or to show the steps in a process. Date columns allow you to assign a date related to an item, like deadlines or meetings. That's going to be super helpful for tracking when each phone interview will take place. There are many other column options you can find in the column center. Remember to look back at the key question, what information needs to be captured, which we covered in the key questions video. This is going to help you define which columns to add to your board. On to sub-items. These add another level of hierarchy into a workflow. For example, if your items represent tasks, you could break the task down into subtasks using sub-items. Sub-items have their own column structure so they can be different from the columns you have on the board. We don't always use sub-items. Often, having all the information on the item level is sufficient. In my boards, I don't think sub-items are needed for now. Great! Now we've covered the main building blocks that structure the board. Let's look at those which will bring your workflow to life, starting with automations. Automations remove manual repetitive actions in your workflow by automating them. They are made up of triggers and actions, and in Monday.com, you can choose from pre-existing templates or build your own. That means I could automate notifying the owners of the different steps in our qualification flow? Awesome! Board views allow you to see your board in different structures, not just in a table view. There are multiple options you can find in the view center. Examples of board views include forms, for collecting and adding data to your board from outside, calendar for managing dates, and dashboards for reporting. The form view sounds like it's going to be a great solution for streamlining all my applications into one place. And the dashboard view sounds awesome for my reporting needs, too. Integrations allow you to connect Monday.com with your other work tools. They work like automations, with triggers and actions, only this time across platforms. So in my qualification flow, I can send automatic emails to applicants to let them know if they've qualified and will be moving on to the next step. Now that you know the building blocks for building boards and how to boost them, take a look at the dashboards. This is where you can create summaries and reports and get a high-level view of where everything stands across multiple boards and all of your workflows. We'll be covering building a dashboard later in the course, so hold tight for now. Once you've built your boards and any dashboards, 
you will probably want to organize them in your account. Workspaces, folders, and subfolders are going to help keep everything neat and tidy. I can already see the Lucky Llama workspace with folders for organizing the different launches. Awesome! That was a quick tour of the main building blocks in Monday.com. In the next section, we'll be putting this knowledge into action and building out Patricia's boards. But first, let's practice what we've learned.